What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Guys, today I'll be showing you how chaotic uh, street vending has brought in Lusaka. That's the video for today. If you are new on my channel, do me a favor, subscribe, turn on bell notification and give this video a thumbs up. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you in town Cairo Road, Lumumba Road and the city market and I'm going including the new Simon Mwewa market so let's go a few hours ago I was watching a video on the channel of my uncle from Australia Uncle Larson Mutemu he was showcasing a city, Balarati, in Australia. A city which was built in the 1800s. Very, very neat. And he was comparing it to Cairo Road. How organized, how clean. Not top buildings, but the maintenance. So that's what I'll be comparing in this video. And also to show people who've been asking uh, I talked about street vending in Lusaka, but you know I'm a ground person. I needed to come and prove to you that this government has like in inverted commas or President Akainde Ichilema has inverted commas legalized street vending in the CBD. This I'm from Cairo Road and now I have entered Dinkwazi Road. You can see where we are coming from, how street vending is done in the city center. I'm going to say it, I'll repeat it the next two times again. We are not saying other countries don't have street vending. In Kenya, Nigeria, Ghana, street vending is there. Take a look at street vending in the CPG. There are cities where in the city center you can't see the kind of chaos which of course President H.H. found similar to this but he has even taken it to another level. Yes, so street vending has, is an issue. Take a look at how ugly the city looks like. There are shops where you are supposed to walk. By the way, in vlogging, it is extremely difficult. This is why, I mean, I always have a request. Look at how I do here. It is impossible to film. Blogging is almost impossible. So that's why we always request. Please, if you are new on my channel, do me a favor. Subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. Take a look at these guys who are dealing here. This is the CBD. Other places or other cities in the CBD, you find that street vending is reserved to remote places. From, For example, here, maybe street vending or... Vending open would have been permitted beyond the city center somewhere, maybe after Soweto market, maybe there, yes. But this is inside the city. Let's go. I'll show you piles of garbage which even the city authority have failed to keep up because vending is at another level. So, very shortly, take a look. Tomatoes, vegetables in front of shop. In front of shops. All manner of street vending. Why? Because the president has not put his foot down. There are certain things whereby the president will just make a decree, a decree, one way, and street vending is over. Before the president uh, came into power slightly over one year ago, this is the kind of mess he talked about was going to clean up. Take a look. You think it is a complete shop in the city center. So this is the Freedom Way. This is Freedom Way. I'm coming from Cairo Road. I entered Dinkwazi Road. And now... Freedom way. Take a look. Where you are supposed to be walking is chaotic. 
streets, guys. I've been into cities uh, which uh, where the street vending. For example, in Tanzania, Dar es Salaam, I've been to a place known as Kariako maybe hundred times. It is worse than this, but it's not in the city center. I've watched videos, including yesterday, of Tanzania, of Kenya, in Nairobi, in the city center, this doesn't happen. But in the outskirts, maybe. Even in Mombasa, same thing. But here we have a situation where the president is afraid of facing, facing this crisis. Now, take a look when I say, even the city council, the council has even failed to keep up. Look at the garbage. This, take a look, city center. This is between the Rusaka city market and this store building, which has started developing that has stored for years. The one we call Stanley Building. Take a look, all the corridors, take a look at the pile of garbage. So this is the Stanley Building. So it continues and I'm going to take you from here to show you that some of this street vending which is happening here is not necessarily that everyone here doesn't have a stand. I'm going to prove you in this video, that's why I want you to stay tuned. I will show you two markets. One is known as the new Simon Mewa market, which is complete except the paving, almost 100% done. But the date you are seeing here, the congestion on the corridor, take a look. On, on one corridor, on the left and on the right, there is hardly space to pass comfortable. Take a look. You have to stop. When somebody stops, even me, even vlogging, very difficult for me to bring you this content. I had to push my way through. Sometimes, like here, I'm stuck. I don't have where to go. In fact, here, if you stop, somebody will just bump you from behind. In fact, even vlogging, because it's just that I'm travotainment. Where others can't feel, this is where I manage to do it. Because all I do, last time I spoke about feet bending, but because it was a sit down. And as you know me, I go on the ground. I don't believe in doing things uh, seated uh, from the comfort of my home. I believe in going on the ground and show you the real situation. So isn't this, guys, so people were asking, isn't this proof enough that, is this not street vending? Has it not been blown to another level? I'm still taking you to a new market which has not yet been occupied. Then I'll take you inside the Lusaka city market. Inside the city market, I'm going to show you vacant stands. I mean vacant stands where people, some of these people who are trading here are supposed to be trading there. But they prefer to leave the market to come and bring congestion on the street. On the main street. That is the mentality of street vending. Because why? They believe business is found where people are passing. They don't want people to follow them inside the market. I'm going to show you hundreds of stands which are unoccupied, yet people here are vending on the street. <laughs> So this has contributed to making uh, the city to look really, really filthy, filthy. They are making uh, this government to look bad. So the new Simon Mua market has not yet even started working, although it is complete. I will show you very shortly. 
and then when it rains and most of these guys you are seeing these people they don't even have facilities like toilets so you can imagine sanitation is extremely bad our previous government was condemned okay not just being condemned yes it was a terrible government and that i must Say. Although I'm criticizing this current government, we can't compare it with the previous government it was waste. But let me tell you, one time like this, all in the previous government was born out of this kind of arrangement. And when cholera broke out, the president spoke away, and these streets were cleared, I mean cleared. They brought the military, not just the military, not the military, as police, police could do nothing. They brought in the soldiers. The soldiers cleaned up the city, the city started looking good. Soon after order was over, the street vendors were back on the street. That is what politicians do. That is the kind of leadership of politicians. So, now I'm crossing the Rumumba Road, taking you to this market starting there. Boy is as big as far as eyes can see. Let's go as I show you uh, this place. This market is the Simon Mwewa Market. So it is also um, very near next to the Rumumba Road, along the Rumumba Road. This is where these some of these street vendors are expected to start trading from. So they are there is up and I can see some space down. So you can see it is a massive market. Take a look where it is going with the eyes. It's like they come as far as the camera can go. And then it was at this stage that at the same time when it starts raining. Oh, oh. Now you see how they are making these makeshift stalls. Does this make the city look uh, green? No. In fact, I don't like making this kind of videos. Some of you guys know me by now. I like bringing the brighter side. Here we go. The rains have started. But I'm forced to make this kind of videos because some of you requested also there is no beauty at this moment when you want to showcase the seat. When I want to show you this, I'm ending up showing you garbage. Piles of garbage in the main street. Take a look at the beautiful market, which has taken on heaps of sand. Why? Because they are paving the place. They are paving. Take a look. A lot of vendors, I can tell you, even when this market... In fact, there was a, it was there was a program which was stopped uh, where they wanted they were allocating the vendors, so they were saying the process was not transparent. So since the process was never transparent, uh, people complained, uh, so they like stopped. So they it is they are saying soon the vendors will be brought in will be brought in these people who are trading outside to put in the market i'm also going to show you inside the city market let me take i'll take a turn then show you the other side of the simon mwewa market see piles of garbage everywhere it is just increasing so it's not that the city is not beautiful but it is a leadership crisis guys take a look so it was raining thankfully i had an umbrella but i didn't want to stop walking because i also wanted to have an experience with the rain and filming so where i'm going uh, at this moment yes it was less disturbing but where i'm going and where i'm coming from even filming if you are not careful if you are not street wise like travelment even your camera can be snatched from your hand so you can see all everywhere here tires 
section on the street. That is how unarranged. So we are still waiting. We are watching what the president is going to do about it. I tried by all means to make this video to edit less and less. Why? Because I wanted to show a huge part of this place. This place, take a look at how steep this is. And I'm not in fire. Just observe this place. A few meters here, you know why? Take a look at the name. Just look at the name of this place. Simon, Simonson Building. So this is the, because there is a man inside this building known as Simon Mwewalen. Oh, Itambara Mwewa. This guy doesn't allow nonsense on the front of his building. So that is his beauty. He maintains cleanliness. There's a program. There are bins. I wish I could have showed you some bins where even in littering, sometimes, most of the time, he supervises it himself. That is Simon Mwewalen. He is also on YouTube as Simon Mwewalen. On Facebook, Simon Mwewalen. On TikTok, Simon Mwewalen. He likes to keep the place clean and he advocates for cleanliness in the city but right now his effort there is nothing he can do if the president can allow it now we are entering inside the city market okay guys let me show you this we have come in another place where your phone can be snatched so this is officially the entry point where you have to be strong if i'm filming some people not be counted. Why are you filming us? I mean, I hope just to come and see one person. I came to show the market here. So, I mean, I'm used to filming such kind of videos. Why? I'm travel treatment and I'm still why. So, what happens is that take a look at how big this market This is arguably, no argument, it is the largest market exam. now look at where this one is going this is the very first age and people tend to put their business or their merchandise by the side so every now and then if you turn left here there are rows on the left on the right there are stands again when you enter on the left or right there are stands but most of these stands when you just turn a little bit they are empty. Why? Some of the people on the street are supposed to be here to occupy this place. So that's what happened. So this is what is causing chaos. So I'm going to take, for example, I just take randomly. There are a lot of them. So I just decided to turn left. One of them, I can't go everywhere. Take a look, empty, 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 left, right, left, right, these stands are empty. Inside the market, take a look, it's not even raining, it's dry inside here. Why? I'm afraid to criticize, to tell you the truth. Yes, I criticize it. Constructive criticism, I love it. Do I hate the president? Never. Can I compare this president to the previous president? No. The previous president was waste. He was not a good president. His end was very bad. We continue. Look, it is dry here. It may have been a very day, but dry. Look outside the arena. I've entered another section. Empty, empty trading spaces. Why? Leadership. Leadership, guys. Because if leaders put their food and they are not afraid, they will bring in people here. They are empty on all sides, only the main part. All these empty, empty, empty. But the traders are putting garbage on the streets where there are no even toilets. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.